Hello, hello, hello. Did you have a good Valentine's? Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Um, I had a pretty good Valentine's Day. I got up yesterday morning and got myself all ready to film with Bryce. We did a, um, a, a video that's going to air tomorrow, Thursday, February 16th. And it's all about Mardi Gras. And um, it's about a New Orleans style restaurant that used to be here in Athens, Georgia. And now that the owner that used to have that restaurant now has a restaurant in North Georgia near Lake Burton called Blue Canoe. And there's going to be a Mardi Gras festival there celebration this weekend. I think it starts actually today and <laughs> goes through Sunday. And I'll be there. I'll be there for sure Saturday and Sunday. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but in doing the, um, while we were filming, like a quote came up, Bryce came up with this quote from Victor Hugo, you know, Les Mis. And it has just stuck with me. Even yesterday, whenever I went to dinner with my friend, we went and ate Mexican for Valentine's. <laughs> not really for Valentine's, anything we can come up with, you know, any excuse we can come up with to get together, we do. So we're like, it's Valentine's, let's go eat Mexican. We'll call it Galentine's. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, while we were eating, I was telling my friend, I was like, Rice said some quote and it really stuck with me from Les Mis from Victor Hugo. And here it is, y'all. To love another person is to see the face of God. Yes, that is so true. And the reason she thought of that quote was because we were, we were talking about the Mardi Gras celebration, the one that I know that's going to be at Blue Canoe, <laughs> the one that I know that we always celebrated at Harry Bissett's in Athens. To me, it was like a family reunion. It's like a family reunion every year. There is so much love there. I love all these people. And I feel that a lot of these people love me too. Um, we are loving one another. Therefore, we are magnifying God. Um, so anytime you get together in groups where there is love, where you are loving, where you are sharing kindness and love. You are shining the God out of you. Like we all have God within. So yes, I really love that quote to love another person is to see the face of God. I truly believe that. Um, I know that this weekend when I'm at Blue Canoe and I am gathering with people that I love, that I only see sometimes like once a year, they come and we all gather together for this celebration. Um, yeah, I'm looking into the face of God when I look into someone else who loves me. So and when they look at me loving them, they're looking into the face of God too. So anyway, just a way to look at things, just a way to look at things. But then it got me to look in, uh, into more of Victor Hugo's um, quotes. And I found another one and I thought it was really cool too. A lot of them are cool. Um Let's see. Da, 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 there's there's so many. There's actually so many that are so good. Um he has a lot of quotes, of course, in Les Mis, and then also um in Notre, Notre Dame. Oh, there's just so much. There's there's a whole lot. Y'all know that I love to walk around in my um my yard and the woods and garden and that those kind of things talks a lot about that kind of stuff too. Um, I highly recommend if you just 
really need something beautiful to read and to meditate on, maybe look up um, uh, Victor Hugo quotes. <laughs> What's this one about? Reason is intelligence taking exercise. Imagination is intelligence with an erection. <laughs> All righty. If you ought to ponder that one, imagination is intelligence with an erection. I totally get that. So it's one thing to have like a great imagination, which I think I do. I was always like an imaginative child. <laughs> Must meant I was very smart. <laughs> and my smartness was always erected. <laughs> uh, it's just a fun thing. Fun thing to think about. Yeah, great quotes. Great quotes. You who suffer because you love, love still more. To die of love is to live by it. Yeah, to live in love. If I speak, I am condemned. If I stay silent, I am damned. I believe that is true. A lot of us that speak our truths or um, things that we believe or, <laughs> you know, especially in like the um, seeker community, we get condemned a lot. We go through cancel culture, those kind of things. But if we stay silent, we're damned. Because who wants to who wants to die? Not ever speaking up, not ever speaking your truth. I would much rather be condemned than be damned, right? To learn to read is to light a fire. Every syllable that is spelled out is a spark. To learn to read is to light a fire. I sort of like to think of that. That's kind of cool. Another cool one. Yeah. Mm, there's so many. Those who do not weep do not see. Yeah. You know, there is, I mean, feeling when when somebody weeps when when somebody when tears fall that is completely seeing that is seeing something so deeply that it brings you to tears that it brings you to weep so i believe that is true to love or have loved that is enough ask nothing further there is no other pearl to be found in the dark folds of life. Yeah, I agree. Laughter is sunshine. It chases winter from the human face. <laughs> I happen to like winter, but I agree with this. Laughter is sunshine. It chases winter dryness from the human face. Yeah, I actually uh, prefer laugh lines over Botox. <laughs> and I got them. I got lots. <laughs> I laugh a lot, y'all. I laugh a lot. Okay. The greatest happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved, loved for ourselves, or rather loved in spite of ourselves. That's like saying that, you know, someone will, can love you for who, exactly who you are, no matter what. It's that sort of, um, but uh, in sickness and in health kind of thing, right? You can kind of think of it that way. At least I do. Yeah. This is fun. Uh, oh, I like this one. Not being heard is no reason for silence. <laughs> Speak up. Speak up. There's so many times um, I, I've dealt with this where I'm just like, I'm invisible. Like nobody hears me. 
you know, when I was a little kid, especially, I was always very opinionated and always like kind of a deep thinker. Um, and I was silent a lot. Yeah. I've learned that lesson. I'm always going to be speaking up. I'm always going to be speaking up now. Turning 50 this year, ain't no holding me back. Mm -mm. All right. Last one. I think we should have the last one. This is from Notre Dame, the hunchback of Notre Dame. Love is like a tree. It grows by itself, roots itself deeply in our being and continues to flourish over a heart in ruin. That's like saying like how a tree grows and how in, a tree grows in soil that is like mold up and um, fertile, honestly. I think the, the more that um, our being is in ruin, it becomes more fertile. That's just the way this sits with me. The inexplicable fact is that the blinder it is, the more tenacious it is. Yeah, love is blind. <laughs> it is never stronger than when it is completely unreasonable. So I hope you all had a great Valentine's Day yesterday, whether you celebrated it or not. I mean, it does not matter. Every day is a day to love and to be loved. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm loving this. I could just read Victor Hugo's quotes all day. Every day is a day to be loved and to love because like the very first quote that I started with, the one that Bryce brought up in the video that we did that's gonna air tomorrow, to love another person is to see the face of God. So love you all. I hope you love me too. So I hope that, um, if you do love me, that you see the face of God and all of you that, um, that I am able to love on, I see the face of God in all of you because everything mirrors back, mirrors back. We're all looking in a mirror. Okay. It's like that Michael Jackson song. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. We all have to work on ourselves and just, just love yourself. And then you'll be able to love another truly. And then you will see the face of God in everyone that you love. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye.